What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys another banger of a video for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Toxicroak team for Series 2. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by Lego on Twitter. Lego, thank you so much for sending this team to me. Cannot wait to use it. Hopefully grab some wins with it on the rank ladder. Definitely looks fun. Definitely looks awesome with the Toxicroak and the other meta Pokemon for Series 2. So again, hopefully grab some wins and uh, make a good video with it. We got Arcanine for our first Pokemon for today's team preview, and Arcanine has been phenomenal on the rank ladder. This one does not have Snarl, but it is still very good at taking out physical attackers. It's got Intimidate and will o -Wisp to drop physical attacks, then it's got the Citrus Berry as item, then other three moves consist of Flare Blitz, Protect, and Extreme Speed. Warren Moon is going to be our second Pokemon, and that is going to be our Booster Energy Pokemon. It has Protosynthesis, that moveset is fairly normal, Acrobatics, Protect, Throw Chop, and Tailwind, probably the best moveset and best setup for Warren Moon in the series two at the moment Fluttermane is going to be our third pokemon gotta love Fluttermane, so good in all situations really strong up against most teams with protosynthesis and the focus ash then moveset is fairly normal with dazzling gleam shadow ball moon blast and protect for support our fourth pokemon is going to be lovely little mushroom pokemon we got amoongus amoongus over here with regenerator and the mental herb as item it's rock and spore it has pollen puff rage pattern protect again another moveset that is just so strong on the rank ladder we got Toxicroak in our fifth position. The Toxicroak is a Pokemon that I have not used on the rank ladder yet, so it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. It hits pretty hard, it has decent speed stat, and it can also learn Fake Out, which is going to definitely benefit our team tremendously. It has Anticipation as its ability. The Pyapa Berry, okay, rocking out with the Pyapa Berry as her item. And then we got Sludge Bomb, Dark Pulse, Protect, and Fake Out with that Dark Terror type. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be King Gambit with a Psychic Terror type. I haven't used one with Psychic Terror type, so it's going to be fun to rock out with that. It has Defiant, the Assault Vest, then it has Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave, Terror Blast, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Toxic Croak Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys, and we are staring at double trouble right here. Going up against an Indeedee and Armourouge team and a T-Tar and Lycanroc team. Two amazing combos, and then they also have Fluttermane and Iron Bundle. Could also work as a combo, get some work done on us. This one is going to be a tough battle, but how should I play this one? How should I get after it? I could lead Arcanine for Intimidate. That could be really good. Fake Out could also be good, but then if you go into... Ooh, this could actually be good. Because if they do go in DD Armors, we can honestly just terrestrialize into Dark, which would be amazing. I'm going to go Toxic Croak. I think like Toxic Croak works really, really well here. So Toxic Croak is going to become our lead. I could also go in with Gambo. Gambo is not too bad for a lead either. So I might want to do that. Or definitely at least bring Gambo. I could go into you. You're not too bad here either. Could get some work done. You do have a booster energy. Then we can use Acrobatics. We can take Speed Control with Tailwind. I feel like we just have a lot of options. Do have a lot of options. I don't know, just Lycanroc T-Tar could be a problem. Could definitely be a problem. What's the play here, Jeans? Lycanroc T-Tar is a problem. It's a problem. I could go Fluttermane. I mean, Fluttermane's not too shabby. I don't mind the Fluttermane. What do I want to do? This is tough. I'm going to go Fluttermane. Actually, mm. I'm going to go Roar Moon for lead. I'm going to bring Fluttermane and Gambit in the back end. That's my play. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Hopefully, I'm kind of hoping they're leading in the armor. So I feel like this could be pretty good if they do end up going that way. Because then I just terrestrialize my Toxicroak. And we just start ripping into the Pokemon. Like, dark moves can absolutely rip into them. But I don't think they're going to do it. Knowing that we have two dark Pokemon that we can lead. But we'll see. We'll see. And then it's going to be... This combo. This little combo. So we can fake out turn one. And I think we just fake out Lycanroc. Try to get rid of that Pokemon, correct? I could set up a Tailwind here as well. Tailwind could definitely help us out. Kind of match speed. We're going to also boost our energy out. But I can also Terrasilize. But I don't think I really want to Terrasilize any of these Pokemon. The so Fake Out's definitely going to play. Try to get rid of Focus Ash. And then... Do we Tailwind? I think we Tailwind. Because even af after Tailwind, both my Pokemon should be able to outspeed like me. Right? 177, 137. I know you outspeed like me. That could be good. But yeah, I'm just going to set up a Tailwind here. I just think it's a simple play. We take complete speed control from uh, his little sandstorm Pokemon. And he's going to end up protecting T-Tar here. So this just seems like a free Tailwind turn. 
Fake out comes out here, takes off Focus Ash on Lycanroc, which is enormous, and flinches. Okay, cool. Awesome. The tailwind out and about. I could end up Thrasilize, but I don't really want to. I don't really want to. I could double down into Lycanroc here as well. It is a possibility, but that Pokemon also has the... Uh, could protect. Could definitely protect. But I'm going to double down into it. I'm not trying to deal with that. I really am not. I don't think he protects here. I think he just goes for his attack move, and I don't even think it, it has protect. I don't think it does. Throw Chop comes out here, does some nice damage. Close Comet's going to fly. That is going to KO us. Oh, no, we survived, but Buffets are going to KO us. But okay, I will take I will take that turn. I will hands down take that turn, because Dark Pulse should be able to finish you off. Yes. And Titar probably just going for a nice little Rock Slide. Right? Yeah, Rock Slide comes out here. Dodges Toxicroak. War and Moon dodge it. God dang it. I want a Toxic Oak to dodge it, but War Moon's going to die to Buffets anyway. It's all good. I feel like that's a solid turn from us. We get rid of, rid of Lycanroc. They get rid of a Roar Moon. We have Tailwind up. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. So now could be a good time to throw out our Flutter Moon, right? I do like Flutter Moon coming out here. We're hoping indeed the Arm Rouge is not in the back end. That could be a little bit of a problem, but yeah, Flutter Moon's definitely going to be a problem. So I can see them Thrasilize and Titar here. They're going to throw out their next Pokemon, which is going to be... It'll be Delibird. Okay, we have speed, which is wonderful. We might not have speed. Booster energy's out and about. That is scary. A little bit of booster energy. Uh, I could hard swap and have Toxic fake out ready to leave. That is an option for us. So I'm thinking of doing I'm thinking of just swapping into you. Having you come out here and then just gleam across the board. Right? That's a gleam does sound good. They might terrestrialize. Do I terrestrialize here in the fairy? Straight Fairy is not bad here. I kind of I kind of like it. I kind of like the Straight Fairy. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terrasalize into Straight Fairy. Get off as much damage as I possibly can with Fluttermane. And then we'll go from there. I mean, we have Focus Ash, but Sandstorm just neglects it pretty much. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. Could we hard swap into our King Gambit? And the reason I want to do that is because I can potentially just Sucker Punch next turn into the Deli Bird slot and just get rid of it. And I can have my fake out reset for later usages. So not a bad battle. Titar is going to protect. Okay, so that's a big time. Good old swap from us. That's a good old swap from us. Dazzle Gleam's gonna fly here. Chip up some nice damage onto the Deli Bird. And then we'll go from there. I think he ends up thrasilizing the flying air for this, right? I was expecting him to do it this turn, but that's fine. Oh wow, that's some big time damage. We could just double protect if we want to. We could just double protect, which I think is gonna be the play. Even if it wastes out tailwind turns, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, and we get Defiant Boost. Thank you. Thank you. So I could Sucker Punch if I want to, but Double Protect might just be the play, right? Or at least a Protect on the... Uh... Actually, we just have to Sucker Punch into this thing. Let's let's play it simple. We're just going to Sucker Punch here, and I'll, and I'll go into a moon, uh, moon Blast here. That's definitely my play. I want to go for Double Protect, but King Game, it doesn't have Protect. It's Vested, so... Our best bet is just to go for a Sucker Punch and throw a Moon Blast, but Titar's probably going to thrash us here. Maybe we should throw a Shadow Ball, but if it doesn't, it can work good for us, and it does not. So that's exactly why we threw that Moon Blast instead of the Shadow Ball. The Sucker Punch comes in here, takes out the Deli Deli Bird. Moon Blast is just going to say bye-bye to Titar, no problem. See you later, Punk. Get it on out of here, and that turns into a... Oh no, you eat that up. You are vested. You are vested. You are vested. And that that's going to kill my... uh. Fluttermane, right? Buffets should KO. No, we survived the Buffets. Ah, mwah, beautiful. Okay, so now this game is pretty much wraps. It is pretty much wraps. He throws out his final Pokemon, and it is going to be Fluttermane. We are 1,000% hitting this thing with Sucker Punch. And we'll just go from there. So Sucker Punch you, and I'm just going to Gleam up. Just Gleam across the board. Our Tailwind's gone. We have Defiant boosted, so our Sucker Punch is going to do a nice big chunk of damage. It's plus two. It's plus two, which is huge. But Titar might be able to outspeed my Fluttermane now, right? We're minus one, but Fluttermane's rather fast to begin with, so I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. But dude, this is a solid battle. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Terrasalization is going to come out from the lovely little Fluttermane. Uh, we still have Toxic in the back end. We can fake this Pokemon out now, which is pretty good for us. And he's going to go Straight Fairy. So Straight Fairy comes out here. I still feel like we do a nice chunk of damage with Sucker Punch. But we'll see what how they want to go into this one. Titar ends up protecting. That's fine. I mean, my Fluttermane dies anyway here. Sucker Punch comes out here. Not very effective, but bringing it down enough for, for uh, Buffett's to KO. 
That is ridiculous. That sucker punch hit so hard. Moon Blast brings you down to red, but yo, Sucker Punch just nailed that thing. No problem. Dazzling Gleam flies out here. They allow another turn to come out for my Flutter Main. It's going to finish this thing off. And I'm super surprised they they, uh, they opted to go into the Moon Blast. I'm super surprised at that instead of like a Dazzling Gleam, but yeah, we'll take that. We get rid of the Flutter Main. Titar loses this battle all, all day long. Take a look at this. We have Sucker Punch ready to roll. And if Sucker Punch did that much damage onto that Flutter Main, it's taking you out. It is taking you out all day, Titar. It is dumping on you. But battle was canceled. One and to get things started. Let's hop to a second. Let's go back to back. Second match coming at you guys. And this one looks like it's going to be a bit tougher. Hard Trick Room team. I think I used this team and did really well with it on the rank ladder with it. Going to be hard to play up against. But they got Ndidi Armors, Torkoal, King Gambit, Hatterene to set Trick Room alongside with Ndidi and Armors. Can both set Trick Room. And then last but not least, it is going to be Choice Scarf Annihilate. We start for Nine which is the Pokemon I really don't. Uh, I hope they're not leading. So I just want to go into Toxtroke and rip into them, right? Toxtroke, I could go Toxtroke Flutter Me here. It is definitely a decent option. And do I, I have Protect on Toxtroke, I believe, right? I believe I do. So if they do end up going into Annihilate, I mean, we could just straight up Gleam and Protect this thing. That could be our play. I do dig it. I do dig it. So we're going to go into these two and then we're going to go into Warm Moon's not bad. I don't mind Warm Moon. Gambit's not bad either, but it could get ripped on by a few things. I definitely want Warm Moon. And then last but not least, who do I go? Who do I go? Because Torkoal's a problem. Torkoal is a problem. I mean, Sucker Punch could come in clutch, so I feel like going into you could be good. But they also have that terrain. And we know they're going to have the terrain. It's a problem. It's a problem. I'm still going to bring King Gambit. King Gambit. Oh, its name's Queen Gambit. That's hilarious because it's a girl form. That is hilarious. I love that name. I love it. <laughs> that's a great. That's a great. That's a great nickname to give the Pokemon. I love it. I love it. But yeah, this second match looks like it's gonna be pretty tough. First match, we were able to clutch up, grab you guys a win. But this one, it's always hard going up against Trick Room teams, especially a hard Trick Room team where their main goal is to just set up Trick Room and rip into you. It's always tough. They end up going into Indeedy and Hatterene. And from here, I mean, I could Terrasilize, but there's really no point. Fake Out's not going to work. Anticipation is going to Shudder. And if you guys do not know what that means, it means that ability, when a Pokemon Shudders, it means it has a move that can one-shot my Toxic. So, yeah, that's a problem. That is definitely a problem. So, Follow Me could definitely come out here. Um, I could go into a Sludge Bomb and rip into you. But, again, I think Follow Me Trick Room is just an easy setup for our opponent. So... I'm just going to Gleam, I guess. I guess I just Gleam, right? I could Moon Blast, but I'm just going to Gleam because I think Gleam and Sludge Bomb will KO. And yeah, there's the Follow Me. So that's why I I ultimately went into the, uh, not the Sludge Bomb, the Dark Pulse. So the Gleam's going to fly out here, chip up some nice damage onto Indeedee and Hatterene. And Dark Pulse is going to fly here, and this probably might not KO. Yeah, this thing's actually able to soak really well. Wow. Really well on my Special Attackers. Do that Psychic Seeds. And it's pretty bulked on that Special Defense side. So that comes out here. I could Terrasilize here in the straight dark, but would that really help us? I could protect you. And just rip with a Moon Blast. That's going to be my play, because we're kind of hoping Indeedee goes for a move. We're kind of just trying to waste our turns here. So I'm just going to protect my Toxic Croak. Protect my lovely Croak. Hatterene does go for a Psychic. And are you double down into my task group? Because I, I could Terrasilize that thing. And Gleam's going to fly here. So we land a nice little Protect. I could Hard Swap here into, into Gambit. It is an option here. And Moonblast is going to fly here. The so Moonblast flies. We get rid of Hatterene. And here is the problem. The problem wasn't that. The problem is going to be this Torkoal coming out here. And it's a problem. Because I don't know how I'm going to handle it. Oh, no. It goes Armors. Okay. So Armors comes out here. And now's the time to actually Terrasilize you. Now is the time to Terrasilize you in the dark and just start ripping with Dark Pulses and just protect and flutter me this turn. Because he wants to go for Expanded Force. This is actually pretty good. He wants to go for Expanded Force. Turning in the dark will make Expanded Force or any second moves not affect me. Then we'll go from there. So Toxic Croak coming to play. He's coming to play here. He is coming to play. And I can definitely see like a Helping Hand coming out here, which would be awesome. Waste it in DD turn. Let us hit this Armorers. That'd be big time. So we're going to end up Terrasilize in the dark. We saved it for a good time. We definitely saved it for a good time. The dark Toxic Crew comes out here. And this is exactly why the uh, 
the creator of the team actually made this toxic coke dark just so it can actually uh get some work done on the indd armage combo which is just the meta right now it is legit the meta they're gonna go for expanded force we're gonna block it it's not gonna affect my toxic croak and what is indeed going for it's the real question going for dazzling gleam that's a little scary it's a bit more scarier but we'll deal with it we'll deal with it we're able to soak pretty well which is nice the Dark Pulse now flies into Armors. How much damage are we doing to Armors? Some such solid damage. That is some solid damage. And from here... I feel like we just have to keep wasting out these Trick Room turns, right? How many turns left in Trick Room? Two. Oh, yeah. We're definitely protecting you. We're definitely protecting you. And I could go for the Moon Blast. I'm just going to try to Moon Blast down in DD. As much as I want to go for a Shadow Ball, Follow Me comes out here. It's just a problem. Helping hand ends up coming out here. And are you going for expanded force? What are you going after? Go straight after Toxic Oak here. Go straight after Toxic Oak. Goes for an armor cannon. Wow, so that's a solid turn from him. We could just rip down. That kind of hurts. But defense is dropped. Terrain's almost gone. Actually, terrain might be gone this turn. I think terrain's gone this turn. And if it is, that brings out my boy. I wish I know if terrain's gone or not. I wish I knew. I'd rather just bring out a Pokemon that can protect, right? I'd rather just bring out a Pokemon that can protect. So we're gonna bring out the Roar Moon. And the reason I need terrain gone is so I can just freely sucker punch with my uh that's my Gambo, but Terrain is not gone, so good thing we just went into this Pokemon. At this point, we just drop a Dark Pulse into you, and we just throw a Chop into... Emerge, do we double down? I'd rather... Hmm. I don't have Terra anymore. I mean, we... now nah, we're just gonna protect this turn. Yeah, just protect. Play it smart. Play it smart, because if a Gleam hits me, Gleam's gonna be a problem. Helping Hand comes out here. And what are you going for? You going for another Armor Cannon? We should protect our Roar Moon. I think we're sitting fine, even if what's called goes down. Yeah, that's fine. Even if you go down here, we are sitting fine because speed is back on our side. Trick Room's gone, Terrain's gone. Feeling good. I'm feeling real good on this one. I'm feeling solid. Um, <clears throat> feeling solid. I'm feeling solid. And we get to bring out two Dark type Pokemon. So we went out Trick Room actually really, really well. And the Terrain really well. Really, really well. We got the boys out here. We know that... Oh, wait. They still have Terra, don't they? I believe they do. I believe they do, which could be scary. Let me see his team. Yeah, they definitely still have Terra. And I don't know who they have in the back end, right? Do I Sucker Punch? I don't think I Sucker Punch. I think I just Kowtow Cleave. And the reason I say that is because... What's it called? It's because if he goes for a follow me just like that, then Sucker Punch would miss. And he can go for if he outspeeds me, he can go for another armor cannon, but I'm hoping he doesn't. You know, it was thriving in Trick Room, so I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that my King Game just outspeeds it. Right, correct? It does not. Now that's tough. That is real tough. Because you're dead. Oh no, you soak! Vest! The vest! The vest! I could have sworn that thing was not surviving an armor cannon. Okay, I love you. I love you, armors. Or not armors. I hate you, armors. I love you, King Gambit. Gambit with the soak. Gambit with the soak. Be like that. Yeah, that was my that was my only problem was to follow me in the armor cannon coming in here. Because I don't have protect on that Pokemon. His final Pokemon is going to be King Gambit of its own, and that's a bit tougher, right? I mean Sucker Punch would probably be your play to start ripping in this thing. And we don't really have any moves to uh, get after this, right? I mean, acrobatics? How much damage is acrobatics going to do? Because what's going to do more? This should do more. It does massive damage when it's not holding an item. Hmm, I could throw chop him, but that's not going to do anything. He doesn't have sound-based moves, so... Looks like this is our play. They have terror still. This is terrifying. How is this going to work out here? They might win this battle, right? Looking at it, they might. Actually, switching typings could be bad for them. Straight dark. That's actually good for my acrobatics. Okay. A little bit better for us. A tad bit better for us. Sucker Punch coming in from us. Just trying to do as much damage as we possibly can with our Gambit. 
And second punch comes out from them, which is now failing because ours went first. Acrobat's gonna fly. And that's doing a bit more damage. Yeah, let's just keep chipping up. He's probably going for a Kowtow Cleave here, but we know we outspeed, so I'm gonna go for the flinch. And we have a normal effective move. I really doubt that he goes for another Sucker Punch, right? I really doubt it after what just happened, so I'm gonna go for the Iron Head. And he does not go for the Sucker Punch. That's a good call from us. That's a great call from us. Iron Head comes in here. Should be able to clean it up. Almost does, but that pretty much just makes it GG's. And we get the flinch! And we get the flinch. Thanks for coming out. Sucker Punch coming in here. Acrobatics flying. Good old game. Good old game. 2-0. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Now we can hop to our third. Look for that perfect record for you guys. Third and final match coming at you guys. And we're playing so good right now. So good. Playing up against top teams. Winning them battles. But like I said, third match coming at you guys. And this is like another Trick Room team without a Trick Room user, right? This is a little weird. Can any of them set Trick Room? Arcanine, Gastrodon, Iron Hands, Golden Go, Amoongus, and Gargonackle. Seems like they cannot set up Trick Room. It seems like that, right? I am going to lead Gambit. And the reason is because if he intimidates my Arcanine, I get that lovely little Defiant boost. Plus, we can get some work done on other Pokemon. So, Gambit is going to be my lead. I've also been liking this Toxicroak. Screw it. Let's throw a Toxicroak out there. Have some fun with it. Um, Gargonackle is going to be a problem. I might have to support it. And I love the name of this Amoongus. It is Toad. I love it. <laughs> I love it because I'm a big Mario fan. Big time Mario fan. But, yeah. What, what, what do I do here? What do I do here? I don't know. I guess I gotta bring in the, the boys, right? I think they, I think we haven't used any other Pokemon besides these four, but you guys seen Arcanine and Toad before. But this one actually seems like it's like Gargle Knackle seems like a problem. It's a problem. It is what they call a problem. So I'm just gonna hope that they don't bring it, but they're bringing it, right? They're bringing it. Let, let, let's be real. Let's re, let's be real here. They are bringing the Gargonackle. Arcanine is going to get sent out here. Thank you. Thank you for popping my Defiant. And I can outspeed. Oh, I can Terrasalize here too. I can definitely Terrasalize here too. That's why I don't take big time fire damage. I'm thinking about it because I can outspeed the... Uh, the what's it called? I can outspeed the Iron Hands and fake it out before he fakes me out. So I can just Terrasalize, go into a nice little Psychic type, deal some damage over on you, and just pop a little fake out onto you. That's my play. I'm liking it. We're Terrasalizing Gambit. Gambit going into Psychic type. Putting a little magnifying glass on his head, right? Is that what it is, right? No, it's a little, like, eyeball. Well, I didn't think it was a magnifying glass, but it's all cool. Kinda looks like one, not gonna lie. A little bit of eyeball action. A little bit of eyeball action. Fake out comes out on the him before it comes out onto me. And Arcanine is going to burn me. That one hurts. I could have just sworn it was just going for like a fire blitz or something, right? That made the most sense. Kind of hurts though. Cat Tackle even going to come out here. We're plus one on attack, but we're burned. But we're taking some big damage on our burns. Fighting move is scary. Uh, I'm just going to Terror Blast now. Maybe we'll switch to special attack. You never know. And I'm just going to protect you because we know the Drain Punch is coming out here. Or even another will o -Wisp. We have to get off as much value as we can with our uh, Gambit at this point. A little bit of Terra Blast. I mean, he's definitely scared now. Definitely scared now. But I think he stays in here with the Iron Hands and just drops the drink, unfortunately, right? Ah, this game, this game, this game. I already guaranteed ourselves a winning record, which is good, but again, this battle seems tough for me. Because if he's giving me a hard time right here, if he has Gargonac on the back end, it's pretty much GG's. I don't see... I don't see Myself really finding ways to KO, but he ends up withdrawing the Arcanine, saving the Intimidate for later. I think Drain Punch does come after my uh, Toxic Kirk, and he's going to send out lovely little Moons. You might even protect this turn. You might even protect this turn. So again, we have the Psychic Moves to get some work done on these guys. Stopping Tantrum comes out here, and we block. It's a big time block, so I might want to swap into. I was going to say Moon, but I might go into Flutter Man because if he goes for Drain Punch, that's that's a problem. Definitely a problem. That's some big time damage. I don't mind that damage. That's some solid damage. If he wants to swap into, or if he wants to rage powder with the Moongus, that's fine. We're just going to Terror Blast here, and we are going to go into our Flutter main. Again, reason being, I don't want to get Drain Punch. I really don't want to get Drain Punch. I'm just going to go into Flutz. Save our War Moon. We shall save our War Moon. 
Now the real question is, does he let his iron hands die out, or does he follow me? The worst, the worst thing for us would be if he terrestrializes the moves and uses follow me, right? But if he just goes for a number, uh, like a normal rage powder, we're still going to be super effective, and we're still going to be able to do some damage on him. So we swap back the croak. Arcanine's just a problem, man. We have too many physical attackers. And regular rage powder comes out here. That's fine by me. There's a stopping tantrum. Did a bit too much damage. Maybe I should have swapped into the uh the war moon there. And we're gonna be able to chip up some nice lovely damage on you. Nice lovely damage. Nice lovely damage. This thing does have berry. I think we just we gleam? Hmm. We definitely go for a terror blast into a Moogus, right? We definitely gotta go into Terror Blast into a Moogus. Just get rid of that. I could gleam. I could definitely gleam here. I'm thinking of gleam in just in case another Rage Powder comes out, out to play, right? I mean, I'm surprised he hasn't translated the Iron Hand yet. I'm really surprised by that. Definitely really surprised. But his team's just so bulky. He's just so bulky. We're trying to, like, penetrate him, do a lot of damage, but just. Too bulky. Too bulky, man. They got the bulk squad out here. Everybody with high HP, high defensive stats. They can they have some way of regenerating HP. He ends up withdrawing you. And are you gonna go back into Arcanine? I highly doubt that, right? You're gonna go into your final Pokemon, right? It's gonna be Gastro. Gastro comes out here. Gleam is going to chunk up damage. Can this KO? I don't know if this Terror Blast can KO. I'm really hoping it can. I think it can actually. Take him out, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, dude, even though King Gambit's burned, he is ripping with this Terror Blast. He's just ripping with this Terror Blast. I'm liking it. They're probably going to go back out into the Fake Out user. That's totally fine. If you want to fake me out, you can fake me out. I might hard swap into a different Pokemon at this point, but I don't know. Oh, you go back into Arcanine. Give me my attack boost again. That's fine. That is fine. So, no Gargle Knackle. That, that's, a, that's a big time surprise for me. That's definitely a big time surprise. Uh, from here, I'm gonna keep ripping Terror Blasters. I might go after this Arcanine. And I could Gleam. I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go after Arcanine. I'm not trying to deal with Arcanine. Plus, I think Gastron might even protect this turn. A lot of Gastrons are just prone to just protecting, right? Like, if you think about it, Gastrons, every time you go up against them, they're always rock and protect. They're always drop and protect. Gastron does that a lot. They do that a lot. So we're kind of just going to hope that the, the Protect comes out here and Arcanine does not protect them. We just double down into it and pick up some chaos. Okay, so Gastron doesn't protect, but more importantly, Arcanine doesn't protect either. That does some big time damage. Flare Blitz is going to fly through here. We can soak up that Flare Blitz. We know Gambit outspeeds the Gastron, and we're going to be able to KO here. So Arcanine gone. Wow, I'm so surprised that, that the big rock Minecraft Pokemon did not come out here. So we get rid of Arcanine. Gastron probably takes out my Fluttermane. And dude, Gambit is just tearing it up right now. Gambit is just tearing it up right now, Loki. He's burned, but he's just tearing up. And I get another Defiant boost. Oh my lord. What's your attack at? What are your, your attack might be fine, even with the burn. What are you, plus four? You're plus four now. You are plus four. You are plus four. We know it's Iron Hand, so we're going to bring back out our Fake Out user just to fake him out. And we're gonna get after this gash, though. No? Right? We're gonna kowtow cleave this gash. We're kowtow cleaving this gash. Actually, we might as well just go into the Terror Blast, right? Because Terror Blast would do more damage. Because it goes off of my best best stat. Whichever's higher. And right now, I don't know which one's higher because of the burn. But I think Terror Blast is just our play, correct? It gets the same stab boost. It's just five more base damage. Let's go Terror Blast here. We're just going to Terror Blast here. I'm just going to fake out the Iron Hands. Just so he can't fake us out. The so fake out comes out here. Flinching him again. Terror Blast can come out here. Probably finish off this gash, right? And that's GG's. That is GG's. Oh, your boy is killing it. Is it GG's? Are you dead? You are dead. We got a crit too. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I think you were dead anyway. Come on, man. It's too easy. It's too easy. Come on, man. That's too easy. 
Oh my god, we are ripping in today's video. This tile stroke team, I'm loving it. What are you, plus four? Plus four on attack. The fine doing them dirty. Now we can rip it to another terror blast. And on top of that, we can just go into a nice little bit sludge bomb attack stroke. And I think our opponent cancels the battle, right? Battle was canceled. 3 0 for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 for today's video. Gotta give one huge last shout out to my boy Lego for sending me this team. I absolutely loved it. We got the Tox Stroke out there. I think in every single battle. It was faking out, doing some big time damage with Dark Pulse and Sludge Bomb. We even terrestrialized him in one battle. So that was awesome. But again, 3 0, perfect record. Cannot get much better than that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go out. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.